If you're thinking about raising quail, you've surely thought about what do I do when they escape? What do I do when they get out of the hutch? I'm going to show you today how easy it is to catch them, so stick around. Hey, welcome back to another Slightly Redneck video. Again, my name is Chris, and today we're going to talk about how to catch your quail when they escape. Uh, most of the quail, the standard quail anyway, they really aren't good flyers. They tend to just kind of do a controlled descent to the ground. They can jump and fly about, oh, yay high. But my jumbos are a little bit better flyers. So I thought I'd get one of those out. I'm going to let him go in this field behind me. Maybe a big mistake. If it is, you're going to catch it on film and I'm going to show you how I catch them and how easy they are to actually catch. So let me go get a bird real quick. I'll let him go in this field. We'll take a look at how well they can actually fly, how long they fly, and uh, hopefully I'll catch him pretty quick. Okay, this is one of my uh, jumbo quail right here and I'll get him up close so you can see him real quick. Jumbo quail. Okay, so I'm going to let him go and you can see they don't tend to be very good flyers. They tend to, uh, these guys can jump probably oh, about 10, 12 feet in the air but they wear out really, really quick, and you'll see what I mean here. He'll make a couple of good leaps, 12 feet in the air, and then he'll kind of wear out and not very make very many good leaps, and pretty easy to catch at that point. So I'll show you kind of my trick to catching them. If you have a fishing net, that can be helpful. A lot of times they'll jump up in the air, and you can just kind of scoop underneath them and catch them, or put it over the top of them and catch them uh, without them getting away, and that makes it a little bit easier. Um, but anyway, uh, they are ground birds, so if they do get out, what you want to look for them is around the edges, around the brush, around the edges. He's not going to want to be in this open field very much, and he's probably going to head for the trees and the brush lines and those kinds of things. So that's where you want to look for them if they do get out. So let's, uh, let's let him go. Let's see how he does. See, kind of controlled descent to the ground. He doesn't really go anywhere. He's just sitting there. Now, if I walk up on him, he's going to fly. Maybe. Actually, he's just running. Come on, spook up, fly. There we go. You can see, he didn't fly very well. Let me scoot him back over here in camera view. Okay, hopefully you can see him on the ground there. You can see he's flown a few times, but not really much. And if I go and pester him a little bit, he's already worn out. He's flown two or three times, he's already worn out. So at this point, really easy to just scoop him right up in the net. Or if you just follow him around a little bit, he's not gonna fly much further and you can just pick him up right off the ground. So they're actually pretty easy to catch. So you see, they wear out pretty quick. You don't have to chase them down. Uh, you don't have to run after them or anything like that. Just walk around them, uh, you know, direct them out into the open fields a little bit or an open yard and keep them away from the edges as much as you can. They wear out real quick and you usually just pin, bend right down and pick them up or, you know, like I said, use a net if you need to. So. Anyway, let me know your comments below. Um, I haven't kept these guys in a flight pen. If you've kept them in a flight pen, do they get to become better flyers? Uh, are they harder to catch that way, or do you have another trick that works even better than what I've had? Let me know below. Thank you guys for watching, and as always, God bless.